for sure you have to download Throne Link Pro. So you want to go to your Play Store, then you type on Throne Link. You can see it over here. This is Throne Link Pro. So you click on it. Now you click install. Alright, so now it has installed. The next thing you want to click on open. Now at this page, you click create account. Now scroll this down to the bottom. You can read it after reading, just scroll down to the bottom. Then you click accept. Set name, just put a name you want to set. Just put in any name, you click next. Now put in password. So your password, as you can see, it will have at least one uppercase, which is a capital letter, at least one lowercase, which is a low A, small letter, then at least one number, one, two, three, four, five, number like that, then at least eight characters. So it will be at least eight characters long. As you can see something like as you can see let me see the password is uh, james then the i put the x to be capital then i have one two this is number then what else as you can see this is good this is good this is good now this one showing red it means uh, it is not yet eight character long it is not at least eight character long so i want to add more so let me james money can see all of them are now green it means in this password there's at least one uppercase there's at least one lowercase there's at least one number and they are all at least eight character long then it you have to stress on it because i know this um, password usually give people issue as you can see the first one which is j they are all small letters which are lowercase right then you see this x it is capital letter which is uppercase then you see this one one two one two is number and it's at least one number and you can see j is one a is two m is three e is four x five six seven eight nine ten so you can see it is more than eight all the characters they are all more than eight so at least eight character long as you can see here there's a capital letter the uppercase which is the x there are small letters which is the lowercase you can see them there's a number you can see number and it is at least eight character long just you don't have to use this particular password because it's just an example so if you are creating your own password for, put it in a way that you contain all the requirements all right so they, when you click on create they will ask you to enter the password again so you put in the same password again then you click confirm to allow it to load so it has take all right so now once you click on back up now as you can see, they will send you some mnemonic phrase, different words, around 12 to 24 words. So you have to write it down on a book. Write, write it down on a book. And on the next stage, they will need you to enter it. And those mnemonic phrase, after writing them down, you still need to save them. You need to keep them very safe. For in case you lost your phone or you change your phone, you can always use it to recover your account. So you can save them in your notebook online, save them in your email. Just somewhere you know at any time you can always see them and use again. So I will do that. I will just click on back up now. The next part, the next page is uh, private. So I won't be showing you that. But I will just click this and then they will show me the phrase. So this is the page they will tell you. So you want to write all of this down. All of this. You write everything. Put them safe for you. You will need them. As you can see there. 
these are 12 different words so you want to write everything down and save them save them because on the next stage they will need you to impute them and um, this QR code you can click on it use another mobile phone to snap it then save it on your email this one is more is the same thing with this phrase to recover your account but i prefer you saving the qr code because it is more effective to recover your account so even though you misplace your phone you can or you change your phone you can use the qr code to recover your account you have to keep it very safe nobody have access to it anybody that have access to it we have access to your account so you just have to keep the qr code is a qr like a picture you just have to snap it then save it to your email right then you come back to this page then just click um after writing this 12 phrase then you click here so once you click here you click here to move forward okay now as you can see on the next page now they are telling me what do i have in number 12 so now i will select from what i wrote down which one is in number 12 as you can see it's one two three four five six so which one is at the number 12 out of what i wrote down on my book so you click on that one if what you wrote down you know the one at the bottom here the one at the number 12 if it is this then you click on this if it is this then you click on this so you understand so just answer it that way okay now you see so if this is it then i'll just just um it's like this just move it down then you click next step okay after clicking next they are asking which one is in number 12 in number 11 i will look at my book again what i wrote if it is number 11 okay then move it down you click carry out right so so that's all that's all so to take you to your wallet guys so now you now have a wallet you now have a wallet so this is your wallet is your wallet so just play around this is your wallet okay so if i click on this you've already created the wallet so we have um, trux which is tron we have usdt so let me see if i click on trux you can see this if you want to get your address you just click receive when you click on receive this is your address you can click here to copy address in case somebody wants to send you tron so let me go back if you want to send you just click send so just play around if i click on usdt okay i think usdt have not yet been activated so if i click on usdt okay okay i think uh, we click the wrong thing so just click click on it just click somewhere around just click so this to get the usdt so the same way if you want to get this address you click receive then you click copy this is the address so this is a uh, usdt truc20 network usdt truc20 so that is how to get it okay so what i don't know if you need to get a little tron whenever you want to send out this usdt but this is just how to get the the usdt truc20 so this is it this is your address when you click copy you have copied it so thank you guys for watching if you want to send money out you want to send out usdt trc20 you just click send you, you click send you enter the details then you can send so that's all please subscribe to my channel if those that want to create multiple wallets when you click the plus you can create multiple wallets but you don't have to create multiple wallets just for those who want to create multiple wallets you can see create over here click it and follow the step but you don't need to create multiple wallets this is good for you